Welcome to Thrifty Tips for Retirees, the show dedicated to helping you stretch your dollars further, embrace frugality, and live your best life on a budget. We believe that being thrifty isn't about being cheap. It's about being resourceful, creative, and downright clever. Join us on this episode of Thrifty Tips to learn how you too can live a rich life on a tight budget. It's no secret that the current economic state in the U.S. is rough. Gas prices are still up and inflation is inflating. We could easily give you that whole live within your means and cook dinners at home speech, but we're not going to do that. Today's retirees need realistic solutions that can help right now. So if you're horrified by the prices every time you go to the grocery store, then this list is for you. Do not buy groceries online. I get it. It's easy and convenient, but trust me when I say you're not always going to get the most bang for your buck this way. So admittedly, there are some grocery store chains out there that don't up their online prices or charge for delivery. So I guess really, if you're considering using online services from your local stores, just do your homework first. But if you're thinking about using services like Instacart, um, you should definitely be aware that convenience charges probably apply. Um, if you get groceries from Amazon, you should know that many of their products are fulfilled by third-party sellers. So what that um, so what that could possibly mean is shipping costs, even if you're a Prime subscriber. Um, my number two tip, use manufacturer and store coupons. Yeah, I I'm talking online, on apps, and those uh, coupons you clip in the Sunday paper. It's not a dead art. It really isn't. Um, you know, so I guess coupons, they, they've been a long established time honored tradition for frugal spenders for, um, God, I, I think I read it was like well over a hundred years coupons have actually been around. Um, yeah, if I can find that article, I'll put that in the description because it's pretty, pretty darn interesting. Um, I, I remember there were pictures of um, some of the very first coupons that were out there. Um, but anyway, so here's a secret that you might not know about coupons that um, I would love to share with you. Did you know that many stores will actually let you stack manufacturer and store coupons? So what that means is, um, say you have a coupon that you clipped in the Sunday paper. It's a dollar off of laundry detergent. Um, that's a manufacturer coupon. The coupons that you clip out of the Sunday paper, manufacturer. Uh, it usually says manufacturer on it. Um, so say you have one of those coupons, but you also have a dollar off coupon for the same product, but you received that coupon directly from the supermarket in either a mail promotion or an ad of some sort. Um, that's a store coupon. And it'll actually, it, it'll usually say store coupon. Um, they've gotten very specific in the last few years uh, on coupons. So most stores will allow you to use both coupons in one transaction. So that would give you a total of $2 off of that laundry detergent. Unless for whatever reason, um, the store, their coupon policy uh, specifies that you can't do that. But more stores than not will let you stack a manufacturer coupon on top of a store coupon for the same product. It feels really silly to give this advice, actually. Um, but I swear it's an amazing idea. You want to follow your favorite brands on social media and join their email lists. It just, it sounds so silly for me to tell people, make sure you follow Wonder Bread on Facebook. I mean, you know, how interesting can bread be? <laughs> but you you really should. Um, most brands, they offer exclusive deals and promotions through social media and email. Um, some will even send you coupons you can't get anywhere else just for simply signing up. Um, and you're probably thinking to yourself, like, well, why am I going to do that? I'm going to get spammed. I, 
Okay. Can you really call it spam if you're a lawyer? Lawyer. If you're a lawyer, can you call it spam? Mm -hmm. One of these days, I'm not going to get so tongue tied when I'm talking. What I'm trying to say is, can you really call it spam if you're a loyal user of the product and they send you deals that you actually want? I mean, come on. If you don't want your inbox spammed, quote unquote, then just don't sign up um, unless it's something you truly use often. But uh, yeah, I think this is a really, this is an amazing little known tip. So always follow your favorite brands on social media and sign up for their, for their email lists. Buy generic and store brand products. Um, I know this might be another, you know, well, duh type of <laughs> type of thrifty tip for you, but um, I have another secret to tell you. And it's, there are so many generic and store brand products that are exactly the same. And what I mean by that is, I, you know, I, I'm not saying like your mom used to tell you, oh, come on, just eat that. It's the same thing. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, kind of, but, um, if you compare the ingredients next time you're in the supermarket, uh, they they really they're literally identical. Usually store brand products don't usually have to flip the bill for national marketing the way big brands like Tide or say Sara Lee do. So stores are able to create essentially the same product and charge much, much less. <clears throat> Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking at my list. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm looking at a list. Um, so I, so I don't forget to what to tell you. Um, my number five thrifty tip for, uh, saving money for groceries is shop at more than one store. This might not always be the quickest or the easiest route, but I promise you it can be the most thrifty. Most grocery stores offer sales that change from week to week. So the trick to saving on products that you buy most may simply be a matter of getting your hands on the weekly ads and shopping the sales. And here is another little known uh, tip that I personally love, love, love. Number six, use Ibotta. If you don't know what Ibotta is, it's a rebate app. It turns your receipts into literal cash. Um, it's so easy. You download the app, select the store you're going to shop at, and then um, you select the rebates on the products you'll be buying. So rebates usually range from 25 cents all the way up to like $10. So you can even earn bonuses um, if you, I don't know, I, I think it's like you have to, you have to buy so many of a product or earn so much and you get bonuses. Um, they do it in a whole bunch of different ways. Um, but anyway, you can earn bonuses and those are worth even more. I have earned up to $30 on bonuses and $50 as a whole in just one shopping trip using this app. So I highly, highly, highly recommend using Ibotta. And again, that's um, that's another website app that I will be happy to put links for in the description for you guys. My number seven thrifty tip for saving money on groceries is get a wholesale membership. If you use a lot of something, why not buy it in bulk? Buying anything in bulk is usually um, it's usually cheaper. Manufacturers are able to cut their costs significantly when packaging a whole lot of something into one, not to mention they pay less for materials and ingredients when they buy in bulk themselves. So subsequently, that means big box stores like BJ's and Costco's, they're going to give you significant deals on bulk items. Um, of course, there's annual membership fees usually for these type of stores, but um, if they're products that you use all the time, if if the savings is there, I'm, the yearly savings on those products is probably going to outweigh that fee um, if you utilize it often enough.
We all forget to do it often enough that it's probably worth mentioning. So my number eight tip is make a list, know exactly what you need and at which store you can get it for at the best price. Then stick to that list. Making and sticking to your shopping list is going to help keep you on budget every time. Um, and, you know, if you're able to shop alone, having a shopping partner, it can be fun. I mean, I know you all want to drag your husbands to the store and, uh, you know, torture them for an hour like I do. Um, but pretty often your husbands, your partners, they're going to make suggestions that are going to lead you to ditching the list and impulse buying, thus spending more money. So if you're able to, um, if your mobility is still good, um, seniors and retirees out there, shop alone. It's, it's Number nine thrifty tip for saving money on groceries. This, can, this one can be a little tedious, but it's another one that I swear works. Um, if you're if you are vigilant and you really want to get down to the dollar and cents, check the price per unit. So what I mean is knowing the price per unit, it's going to, it's going to save you a lot more than you realize to demonstrate this. Let's all right. Let, let's think about it this way. So say that there's a box of 72 Starbucks K cups um, at a big yeah at a big box store like BJ's. So 72 Starbucks K cups, 72 count. It's 41.99. Um, a box of 10 Starbucks K cups at say Kroger is only 8.99. So you're gonna pay 8.99 up front for 10 or you're gonna pay $4.99 at BJ's for $72. $8.99, it's obviously less money up front, but when you calculate the price per unit, you're gonna see um, it's actually a lot different. So the easiest way to do that is you're gonna take the whole price and you're gonna divide it by how many units. So at BJ's, that, that uh, 72 count box of K-Cups, is $41.99. So you're going to take $41.99, divide it by 72. And that's going to give you 58 cents. So 58 cents per unit at BJ's. Whereas um, at Kroger, you're, you've got that $8.99 box of just 10. So you're going to do, again, you're going to do $8.99 and you're going to divide it by how many units? You're going to divide it by 10. Um, that's going to give you 89 cents. So what we're looking at here is at BJ's, you're spending 58 cents per K cup. And at Kroger, you're spending 89 cents per K cup. So, you know, again, up front, $8.99, definitely less than $41.99. Um, but in, this is another thing that's in the long run, it's going to make, um, it, it's going to save you a lot more money. You know, if you're, if you're a big time coffee drinker, like I am, and you're buying it, you know, every two weeks, a, a big box of it, you know, 58 cents versus 89 cents. It's just better. All right. And my last thrifty tip for grocery saving money on groceries for you guys is um, this is going to be a little rough for some of you because it takes lots and lots and lots of time and patience, but it is extreme couponing. Um, clipping a couple of Sunday coupons, it's not the same as extreme couponing. Extreme couponing is also not for those who have, uh, you know, don't have time to spare. The idea behind extreme couponing are, it, the idea is pretty simple, but it takes a lot of preparation and practice to um, 
get as good as those people that you see on TV. Um, there was that show, I think it was called Extreme Couponing um, on like TLC or something back in the day. Um, but yeah, those people, they would get grocery carts and grocery carts full of free groceries. So, and I mean, believe me when I say it is possible, it just takes a lot of time, preparation, and practice. Um, yeah, so now I guess that was number 10, wasn't it? Wow. Um, that wraps up my 10 thrifty tips for sa seniors to save money on groceries. Um, I hope you enjoyed our tips for stretching your dollars further and embracing the art of frugality. Remember, as always, being thrifty is not about being cheap. It's about unleashing your resourcefulness, igniting your creativity, and discovering clever ways to live your best life on a budget. Make sure you visit SeniorResource.com, your number one source for retirement planning, caregiving tips, and living your best. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to Thrifty Tips um, and the Senior Resource Network so you're alerted of our next episode where we'll continue to share valuable insights on how you can lead a rich and fulfilling life without breaking the bank. Until then, keep saving. <laughs>